Good early morning. We are so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come out and watch every day. I got four hours of sleep straight somehow. So when I woke up at 4.30 a.m. to rock Teddy back to sleep, I just stayed awake and did a bunch of stuff around the apartment. So it's now almost seven and everyone else in the house is still asleep. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Just like that, Jamesy is awake. Come go get him and, and relax with him on the couch. Uh, I'm surprised you slept this time. It's almost 7.30. Look at my friends are awake. Well, not that one, but my other friends are awake. So I started the vlog because I'm a psychopath. I've been up for three hours already. I know, but that's good. Like, it's just like, sometimes you just gotta take advantage of the hours. Yeah, so. for sure. Yeah, but now I'm really hungry. Hungry? And it's rainy out. It's a perfect cozy day at home. Cozy Even though I kind of want to go for play, but it's nice to be yeah. cozy at home. Look at this. Adult child. <laughs> I quietly cleaned up all those blocks at 5.15 in the morning, so it didn't wake anybody up. And I'm just terrified he's going to have to knock them over. I up and... Teddy was in his bassinet sleeping away. You weren't there. So I was like, oh, James must have gotten up. I looked at him on Minder. He's asleep as an angel. I abandoned. And I was just like, oh, he's in the bathroom. <laughs> Go get it. Get it. <gasps> Grab it. We ordered Chicago Bagel Authority for breakfast. James got a cheesy sandwich on an onion bagel. This is their cream cheese lox spread bagel sandwich. And here is, yeah. yeah. This one's called the Belmont. I'll actually put the little description they have of it because it really, it tickled us this morning. Um, but it's more like breakfasty. We got some fruit going on. James and me are a little under the weather. I'm trying to figure it out. Try not to freak out. I'm gonna keep me in this one away from the dogs. <laughs> Look at this. I honestly thought mine was allergies until he, until he started getting it. I was like sniffly in the hospital. So we're just. Hopefully, like, he passes it. Yeah. Because he's looking a lot worse today than he did last night. And I'm feeling a lot better than I was well, yesterday, he's so in hopefully good spirits, he's just... but it's so upsetting because like he is in such good spirits, but then you can just tell looking at him, he's like Yeah. And like he didn't eat any of those bagels. And you can tell that James is not himself when he's not eating. When he's not eating. Yeah. He's eating fruit, which is like eight percent water, but yeah. better to have a full belly than an belly. <laughs> He's still being a silly self. You need to chew. So since someone wasn't feeling good, and it's almost nap time, I thought I'd take him on a walk to get some fresh air. And I'm walking, and I look down, and he's just kind of got his head slightly forward. I'm like, James, are you okay? And I look down, I'm asleep. So, of course, he woke up while well, I picked him up. But I'm going to see, because I'm a couple blocks away from home. I'm going to see if he will. I thought there was a rat, but it was just a plastic bag. See that? I'm gonna see if I can get him to fall asleep on my shoulder on the walk home. Run around. Aww. Is Woody your friend when you're not feeling so good? Really? James took like a three and a half hour nap. We're gonna get him in a bath soon. I'm thinking he's just fighting this bug, so we need to get him rested. Oh, he is little Jesse. More. Yeah, he so is eating more. Good. He's less warm. He never had a fever. No. We're gonna give him a nice bath. Aww. Get him in an early bedtime. Doing oh. And I already feel better, so I'm hoping it's just gonna run through. 
Yeah. I think it's my antibodies, right? Right. All right. We're doing partially at home. Ooh. Partially not. I probably shouldn't do that too much. Some pot stickers in there. Sarah ordered something from a restaurant in our neighborhood that I'm gonna go pick up in a little bit, but uh, we're gonna have those pot stickers from our freezer. We're gonna order a, the entree piece from takeout. And then we need to get James in the bath. We're gonna give him a good, like, long, steamy bath. And then get him into an early bed tonight. Um, I just have never seen our little boy like this. Like, he's just so snuggly and, like, didn't hasn't been wanting to eat too much today. Has just wanted to, like, be by you. But he isn't, like, overly crying or upset. He's just, like, you can look at him and you're like, yeah, man, like, you don't feel so good, huh? You can tell. We first watched Illumination Grinch. Now we got live action Grinch. And this is what me and James are doing. I've just been like setting up the blocks and then he puts who he wants where. And it's so stinking cute. This is like mini Toy Story Land. One of my favorite things about Chicago and just cities is like the layering of the buildings. Look, look at this. Got golden hour. The layers of all the different streets of buildings and how they're interacting right here. Here's where I'm for dinner. For a pickup. Are you so excited? Wait. Yeah. Hey, I'm so happy. Here's what we here's what we have from the pickup and these are the pot stickers. Oh be careful it's gonna be hot. Got a clean baby boy. Crazy hair. We're, he's very, very smart. We're reading three books at the same time. <laughs> I've been watching Teddy in here when we got James ready for bed, and he just noticed that he's in his crib. Oh, we just have the coziest apartment. Watching some old currently Hannah videos. While well, Sarah's living with James, I'll have to go in and put him in the crib because she's not allowed to carry him, but he is a Brookhart. He is asleep right there. That is Teddy asleep. Just like me, just like Sarah, just like Jamesy. And we're finishing the night, I'm um, just calming down. We put James on early because he wasn't feeling good. Watching the new Phil. We just realized, I look tan right here in this shot. What? Um, we just realized that we only have two more episodes of Phil left, so we're gonna yeah. stop watching. Well, it works out because we're overwhelmed by how much, like, show and streaming and stuff is going on right now. Right? I right. mean, you're in paternity, so it's like the best yeah, opportunity. But we also have two babies now. There's a lot of work. And Eve? <laughs> Eve, like. She needs more attention. She needs more attention, and she's been letting us know today. But we have to go to bed because. Wait, this kid actually probably is the nurse, and. Yeah. Then we go to bed. Mm -hmm. It's good I to be home. I don't, this is hopefully the last day of the big vlog, unless we break it into two. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. It is so sunny out. Our neighborhood is alive. It is like a beautiful, beautiful morning. And James and I are headed to a nearby school to go to their like Saturday morning market. Uh, yeah. I don't even know what they have. I don't even know what they're gonna be. Whoa! <laughs> a kid has a remote control car at the park. What is that? Jamesy had a good night's sleep. He did wake up a little bit. 
Um, but then, but slept a decent amount of time. So, we're feeling good. Daddy was up with him, I was up with Teddy. So, we decided to just take a little stroll, just me and, me and James this morning. And then I got Peter a baguette. That was his one request, because it's technically like a French market. Um, so I had French bread, and then I got a pastry. We're just kind of like making up for not being able to get like a big cinnamon roll on my dad's birthday. Um, it's not a cinnamon roll, but it's got all those same ingredients and sounded so yummy. This little market is little, but it's got a lot of great, great stuff, so um, we'll definitely come back. It's here every Saturday. And Jamesy got an apricot kolachki, which he's loving. Good morning, everybody. I think Sarah's gonna do the intro. Teddy's been asleep for a little bit because he had a really good breakfast, so he's just been snoozing. And if he wakes up, then like we'll just get some some nice one-on-one -on -one time for, for both. Um, Sarah and me. So beautiful day. It's a low, uh, low 60s. I like that. I wish it was a teensy bit warmer. Um, so we'll see what the day ends up going. There's actually a couple things going on in the city. There's a Memorial Day parade on State Street. I think we're passing on that. I think um, there is the market this morning in not too far from us. There is Sheffield Fest, music, the music fest that we went to with Christina and Grant last year. Um, is this weekend, and that's not too far from us. And then we wanted to go to Southport, all those cute shops um, over there on the other side of Lakeview. So we'll see what the day goes, kind of gauges, and depends on how we're all feeling and, and everything, but uh, we'll probably end up going somewhere, at least for a little bit, just to get out and get some fresh air and then get out in the world, to get out of our apartment. Um, so, should be a good day. Also, when I was getting James changed, I forgot I put this in his armoire. It's this bag of balls. It was in his armoire. He found it. So he was, uh, needless to say, very excited to find them. He hasn't seen them in weeks and very sad to be leaving without them. So I'm going to have this set up for when he returns. He can play in the ball pit that he hasn't had in weeks. My friends are home, and I didn't realize how nice it was out until so I went to go get the bag in the car from downstairs. So I had to open up the windows. And I think if we're all feeling up for it, in a couple hours we're going to go stop by Sheffield Fest, Music Fest, go to Southport. The only thing is about with Southport is those tend to close earlier. Yeah. So if we're going to look for something maybe, Sarah still owed a push push present and a birthday present. <laughs> um, and learned a lesson today in like things not needing to be like picturesque to be picturesque. Like, I wanted us to all go to the market. I wanted to like be ready, but it was just like it was I was supposed not, to get up and run. Like it just became an opportunity that like me and James could go, or like then we would just be upset that we didn't go. So like I just threw on a t-shirt and jeans and we went, and it was just us. But it was like still beautiful. There was a trumpet player. And yeah, was, I oh. couldn't believe that. It was just like so. This is just. I mean, we always like to share that sort of stuff when it happens to us, but it's just the extraordinary and the ordinary, right? Yeah, exactly. What was I saying? I said, uh, just, like, we need to give ourselves grace to for opportunities still to be good, even if it's not what we pictured, because right. Sarah and I are both are hard on ourselves if, like, something doesn't go exactly how we thought it was going to be planned. Oh, Eve oh. is getting breath. Sorry, Peter, I had to get that breath from Eve. Um, yeah, just to finish up, we... We embraced the morning for what we could, and it, it turned out to be lovely. Teddy left for the first time yesterday, so now I'm trying to capture another one. Oh my gosh, it was so, so cute. And Jamesy, we're still, we're still kind of seeing how he feels. His nose isn't runny anymore. What did you just get, Mr. Peter? Put on, I actually didn't get anything. <laughs> um, I put on reserve, although they're going to ship over a new pair of pianos. My A6 running shoes over from a different store over to this fleet feet. We'll pick them up on Monday. Ooh. Now we're going to go to Kendra Scott and see on a birthday present for Sarah. Hey, oh. So we went to a Kendra Scott 
We almost got Sarah a really nice everyday pearl and diamond ring, but it, they didn't have it in her size. Yeah, and so, they, they couldn't even order it. It, says, right. it didn't have an option for my size. So I went to wear it on my middle finger, but they only have like four sizes. There's the train. Whoa. Everybody's waking up. So we're gonna get, we're gonna, we didn't get anything. We're gonna find that ring from somewhere. But you deserve what you want. So we didn't want to settle for something else. We got Johnny Cash in the neighborhood. We got milkiest chocolate and ooey gooey butter cake from Jenny's. We also have birds. What do you think? Good Saturday in the neighborhood? He's like, yeah, stop filming me and just put more ice cream in my mouth. We're strolling to Sheffield Fest and he saw these really cool like jungle gym between the trees. Isn't that cool? So there's swings over here. Then all of that across the street. That is so cool. Anna, why are there, there are two ducks right here? What the? All right, Sarah was feeling one of these lemonades and she's got a surprise coming. I also got cheese curds from this booth right here. It's not Chicago without some good Chicago street food, right? Peter got us cheese curds, lemonade, and the Jamesy boys away. I think I'm gonna end up walking home. And Sarah's <laughs> gonna go get the car and drive home. This will be easier than getting these two in the car seat. We're only like a handful of blocks away. Yeah. So it'll be nice to just get into the car seat and I can push us home. Yeah. Sarah can drive. Hey, hey, come back to the house straight into the ball pit with Encanto plan. <laughs> Woo! Good morning, everybody. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. If you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. So, change of plans for the day because James is still sick. Um, he had a fever last night. He kept waking up. He didn't sleep good. I ended up sleeping most of the night with him. Um, like chills, cold sweat. Um, I think at one point his fever was like 102.4 or something like that. So we're trying to keep him away from Teddy. We're not going to the football game for to celebrate Sarah's dad's birthday. Um, Christina and her family are going to kind of represent the Ryan clan for the rest of the family. So that's a big, big bummer. We haven't been able to do it in two years and then um, and you know, Sarah's mom's here to be there to post it. Um, and it's one of those events that we would actually travel back to Chicago for. So we're kind of like internalizing that loss for the day, but we're going to try to turn it on, make sure James is comfortable and feeling better. And if you were wondering, yes, in fact, James did put a few of the balls from his ball pit into his car before we left. Wow. Look at this. Sarah put a little bit, he said, James is hair in a ponytail, it's so cute. <laughs> it's like nice and cool. Yeah. He's playing nice, but like, this is super cute, especially because James and Sarah hasn't had as much time together since Teddy's been born, but this still is very much like a sick James. Yeah. You know, he doesn't do this. No, he's usually like, he plays full force. So yeah. So he's sitting. And calmly playing. Life. But it's good. Yeah. He's not upset. It's just hard to tell when you give anybody like fever suppressant medicine that you don't know. We're good. Right. And then the medicine wears off in like three hours and then he's back to. He can hardly hold his eyes open. Yeah. And sweating and shaking. So we're going to enjoy and be restful all at the same time. All right. Here we got a local joint called Experience. I don't even know. I think I got a corned beef. I got a corned beef skillet. James got some like berry French toast. I guess that biscuits and gravy right there. Sarah got scrambled egg skillet. And chorizo. Chorizo skillet, yes, with yeah. scrambled eggs and pancakes. So we had mentioned that whatever James has, he got from me. I felt like I um, 
got it while I was in the hospital and I had been tested for COVID while like before I gave birth. Um, but then I was just curious, like I tested again when I got home just to be sure. Cause like, I mean, we know as well as anybody that just because you test once doesn't mean that you don't have it. So I tested and it was negative and I'm just like, I wanted to make sure because I never had a fever and, but I'm also like vaxxed and boosted and James isn't. So I was like, oh, maybe he just has it worse. Um, but again, like no COVID. So just an unfortunate timed bug. Um, and I mean, my like biggest, biggest hope is that my breast milk has built up against it and Teddy will remain Built up against well, any, whatever it is. Whatever it is, yeah. Because, yeah, I'm not talking about COVID anymore. I was just pointing out that we did test for COVID. Negatives across the board. And it's been, like, now long enough where I've had the symptoms for long enough where it would show. Um, but, yeah, whatever this bug is, I, I'm hopeful that my milk is fighting it and then fighting it for Teddy, too. James, you got him in a nice, a nice cool outfit. You want you want to watch Minions? Sure. 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 Yeah, I absolutely cannot stand when James is sick. With Teddy, if he gets sick, if he gets a fever, we have to bring him to the emergency room because he's so tiny. Are you feeling a little better? A little. Good. Good. Yeah. We made James and I an actual train track, which we haven't in a long time. So that was been fun. He's also just busted out the yoga mat, which is like his newest favorite accessory to play with. Um, we're on like a good moment right now because he is like on a new bit of fever, su fever suppressant. Um, so hopefully we can we can keep this going for a little bit. It's the sun's get starting to set. Um, Sarah's almost finished the vlog. After we get that posted, we're going to go for a little walk to all of us get some fresh air. Have to pick up a few things from Walgreens. Oh, yeah? What do you want me to put on the TV next? Do you want uh, Hocus Pocus? We are back in the stroller, back in the bugaboo, out and about. Teddy is a whole week old today. Yes. We're trying to figure out what we want to do for dinner. There's like, should be responsible and cook something at home. A sick baby. Yeah, he's just, he's in great spirits, but he's just, he feels, he doesn't good. feel good. He just doesn't feel good. We got him some good medicine. We got us some Red Bull. Mom and dad medicine. Kickers. <laughs> <laughs> Our neighborhood is bumping. And I'm happy that we got out for fresh air. In just like, what, 15 minutes? Yeah. How come every day at our living room just turns into carnage? Like, just pillows. Those are part of the dock attack as Teddy wet through his clothes. There's garbage I have to take out. This is just pure chaos from James being sick and just us letting him get all of his feelings and emotions and expressions out during today. I'm standing on a yoga mat James was playing on. There's a box for a COVID test because like Sarah just wanted to make sure she didn't have COVID because she gave, we believe, James this sickness. And James just fell asleep. While Sarah was holding her about finishing no, the last book. Twice today. He fell asleep for his nap just right. on me. So like there's no like putting James down because he yeah. fell asleep while you were reading him a book. Yeah. Which means we didn't brush his teeth tonight. So first thing tomorrow morning, brush it, brush it. Um this is like our whole world during the day. I feel like yeah. we live like this is is where we live and then like you'll go to the kitchen and do something like i'll go to our room like yeah, this is our anchor point so right. we're gonna put on the next episode of phil and the two episodes left in this season which is very sad because we waited years and years for this and now it's already been almost over but we have two episodes yes but i'm gonna start cleaning up the toys and getting this area under control while we watch this and then we never made dinner like we fed james but we didn't feed ourselves and it's 9.30 at night, so got to take care of mom and dad, right? 
So it is 10.30. We finished the second to last episode of Somebody Feed Phil Season 5. Before we watch the last episode, if we even watch it, we have to eat something. Sarah and I desperately need to go grocery shopping. We just have been trying to get in this groove. I mean, like, now we've got a sick toddler. But, like, before that, like, we're just, we're just, like, enjoying a time with our newborn and then trying to figure out new normal. But I think for dinner, this is the luxurious dinner Sarah and I are going to have. I'm going to make this vegan mac and cheese. That's from the wonderful groceries that Lauren had for us. Um, and then I think I have, yeah, a bag of frozen cauliflower shells that I'm going to make uh, some buffalo cauliflower in the air fryer. So simple, easy, won't take too long considering it's 1030 at night when you go to bed. This little one is taking a pre- bedtime snooze and I am folding laundry. Obviously we're still trying to get the hang of things of our new <laughs> I don't know just flow and uh, I think there's like a few things so far that we've learned from having just one baby and that is to like basically always have laundry going. Um, I do better when it's not like one big laundry day. It's like, there's always just laundry and now there's gonna be more laundry. But now I'm gonna try and like keep it in our room. We were talking before how like the family room is like our world and I'd love to keep it as like, it's not necessarily clean because obviously we talked about how cluttered and toys and chaos it is, but if only if only that chaos can live there and not additional chaos like laundry or um like we've been keeping the stroller in the car if we can kind of like keep our chaos organized then i think that that'll be the best bet so our new a, a bit of our new schedule is to always start the day with a load of laundry from just the night um I'm still figuring out when's the best time for me to edit the vlog because that's been a little herky-jerky. Um, obviously, cooking dinner is another thing. Bath time is another thing. Um, so yeah, this, this is the start of uh, our new flow. And it like, even though it's late and I'm doing this laundry, like it feels like a good piece of the puzzle that is going to help like our overall just like sanity um so like right now it feels it feels good to be doing i'm not saying it's anything more than it is it's a quick 10 30 at night dinner box vegan annie's mac and cheese with broccoli and some steamed and then air fried um what's that stuff called it's not broccoli white broccoli not green broccoli uh buffalo cauliflower oh, cauliflower that's what it's called Buffalo cauliflower, there you go. Steamed and then air fried cauliflower with buffalo sauce on it. And with that, our extremely late dinner. What do you think of it? Thumbs up? Thumbs up. It was, it was like a, it's late. It's like what, 12.30 in the morning. Um, James hasn't woken up yet, so fingers crossed he'll only like once, if not at all, tonight. That'd be really good for his, um, his body to get all that good sleep. But, <sighs> tomorrow's Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.